Hey there, welcome back to Yogi Wad. I'm Debbie Sengesser here at San Francisco CrossFit. And I wanted to give you a couple of options for recovery progressions after you do um, the high intensity open wads or just any time after you do something like a girls workout or hero wad uh, where you've sort of given it all your energy and then you feel that crash at the end. So these are just progressions that I teach um, to crossfitters, to athletes, and just also to my regular yoga students that are really good at connecting you back and sort of rebooting after you do something crazy. So um, you can come on your back, make sure you're a, a little bit warm, so maybe after a workout is, is good for these. You don't want to do these completely cold, but a little bit warm, you'll lie down on your back and you'll just take a bridge pose. We did a progression earlier that you can look back for bridge. Um, so you can take your arms by your sides, fingertips up, and just take a couple of breaths in your bridge. You can rotate the shoulders underneath you. Um, if you like and you have one, you can place a block or even maybe a foam roller would work underneath you. And just breathe here. Try to get your breath all the way up into your upper chest. And then as you exhale, you can just lower down and take a few breaths in what's called Sukta Baddha Konasana or Reclined Cobbler's Pose. I don't know why it's called that. But um, I like to place one hand on chest, one hand on belly and close your eyes. And I like to keep um, students here, or I spend probably about two minutes in that shape, just sort of grounding, getting your shit together, all that stuff. Um, and then after that, you'll just close your knees together, extend your legs down your mat, reach your arms up alongside your ears, and just take a stretch. You might interlace your hand, press the palms back, whatever feels good to you. Maybe an exhale out through your mouth. And then you can draw your knees into your chest, Send your hips a little bit over to the right and then drop all of your knees over to the left for a twist. And gaze past your right fingertips if that feels okay on your neck. If not, keep your head neutral. Couple breaths here, maybe about a minute. Come back through center and then change sides. Send the hips a little bit over to the right and knees, or hips a little left, knees to the right. Couple breaths here and then come back. That's the start of the progression. We'll keep moving on and moving on throughout the open as you get more and more destroyed by CrossFit. Just kidding. Namaste, bitches. We'll see you soon.